I would say not my personal, it's more like our personal, uh, like because it's more like a team effort kind of thing. So uh, for a lot of games that we have done, right, it's a lot content based, so we have a lot of character design, so we focus a lot on growth. So uh, because the games I created usually have leveling, the stats and all that, so we're trying to look, for example, for King's League 2, right, what we're trying to do is actually uh, not just the number itself, we want the player to feel the characters actually changes together with the numbers. So as the game progresses, uh, when the level increases, the, the personality is actually trying, we try to make sure that it actually works together. So you can see from a, 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 a character like Maxwell in King's League, it started like a Bratz and all that. As it go through a lot of things, uh, it gain experiences, it's level up, but at the same time, right, it personality change and become better as well. So, um, Kriji is actually it's a very small team. So, uh, as we continue to make games, right, we also have this problem like uh, the scope of our work getting bigger and bigger. So, the technology definitely, uh, we, we are looking at first the hardware. So, getting a, a good hardware actually speed up like the build time and all that, right? That actually help us to allow to do, us to do more iterations. What do I mean by iteration is actually like, for example, every time we build the games, right, if it takes a few hours, so there's like the amount it takes for you to give a try on when the game is built. But with a battle hardware on that, it's actually become shorter, even go to like maybe 15 or 10 minutes, right? So uh, we can do it very fast. So there's one. And another one is actually, we are going into a little bit like an automation kind of thing. So imagine, right, the game is actually, we need to play the game for up to like 10 hours. That's the, the amount of time that you need to play through the whole game. We start to adapt to new technology like um, write scripts and bots that actually will help us to automate the build the build. That's what I mentioned about how long it takes to make a build. So that process is being automated. And also after that we have the automate bots and all that will help us go through our game. So I'll press here, press there. So uh, mistakes, errors and all that's like being identified very soon. So uh, so they can spend more time working and designing a game rather than spend time on doing the QA and check the game. This is uh, more like a, so I'm playing the designer role, so I'm also I'm directing the game. So one thing that I always focus on is actually the core experience. So because uh, I think all these decisions that we need to make, right, even the art directions, the content, the quest, or any features, right, all of them actually can be awesome in its own way, like I this cool idea and all that. But when you want to put everything together, so you have to look at big picture where make sure that all this actually contribute to the core experience. So for example, if you're making a game, uh, like Kingsley is about growth, right? We want to make sure that all the features, all the colors, all the things, like even the dialogues and all that, that we actually add to the game, is actually contribute to this specifically. So if it's not, then uh, we will have to find ways to work around it, or maybe have to drop the idea entirely. Okay, so uh, after King's League right now, so basically we still have like at least one or two years down the road, right? So we'll be updating King's League 2, so we made just a lot more major content because by the time we work on King's League, right, the idea when we started off is very ambitious. We want to have multiple story campaign to see how each different characters look at. The plot is actually the same, but different angle on how they tackle the personal growth and all that. So, uh, so be sure to look out for the major updates uh, in the month, coming months. So we also, at the same time, we also start working on new titles. So uh, the next year, actually, we're focusing a lot more on the games that we already created. So we're trying to challenge ourselves, how can we actually add more depth to the existing IP that we already have. So yeah, stay tuned for it.